Hi, I'm Luke Mitchell and I'm here to share what is ageing and what can we do to slow ageing down and what's the secret to life. So here we are, I'm in uh, Copenhagen, a beautiful island. I'm 52 years old and later on there's uh, anti-ageing and stopping ageing uh, volumes that we're going to do on YouTube. I'm going to share with you photos of me 10 years ago. However, that, that, that's the proof in the pudding. Now, straight over the whiteboard, we're going to talk about cell regeneration and the secret to life and ageing is ATP. Come with me. Okay. Now, healthy cells are very round. And unhealthy cells are not round. Now, we're not going to get perfect on science here. We're just going to give you the basic science so everybody can understand this because I'm a simple guy and a lot of viewers out there don't have a scientific biology, biochemical... Uh, diplomas. So we've got a nice healthy cell, nice and round. And on the outside of a healthy cell, we have a negative electronic charge on the cell membrane. And we do the cell membrane, and inside here we've got two membranes. Okay, so on the, the inside of this cell membrane, there's actually a positive electronic charge. Okay, a positive electronic charge. On the outside, we have a negative electronic charge. So we're talking about cells here, and in your body you have a, my size, I'm 68 kilos at 52 years old, and I have approximately 75 trillion cells. Okay? So we want to share with you what is aging, and how to uh, enhance your cells, your 75 trillion cells, and what is disease. So inside this cell, this healthy cell, we have the powerhouse called the mitochondria. Okay, that's a big word. That's as big as it gets with Luke today. The mitochondria. Okay, so this is where all the energy is made. So you can't talk without energy. You can't have your heart beat without energy. You can't have your liver run without energy. And every eight seconds, your cells, your 75 trillion cells, have to make energy, which in science uh, form is called ATP, adenosine triphosphate. So that's what we want to share with you today. Some of the secrets to aging is actually this stuff. ATP, adenosine triphosphate. You have to make that every eight seconds in every cell. It doesn't matter if you're big and you go to the gym. It doesn't matter if you're an Ironman or triathlon. Every human being cell has to make ATP every eight seconds. And that's sometimes you get tired watching a movie or sunbaking on the beach because your body is doing hundreds and hundreds of thousands of things on a cellular level. Okay, so we've got these electronic charges here, and what we want to do is make ATP to keep you highly optimized. Okay, but here's what I really want to share with you, some of the things on this uh, first, first chapter of stopping aging, or what is aging, or how to uh, get involved with anti-aging, and the secret will be ATP, and electronic uh, regeneration of cells. Because disease, like diabetes, cancer, is degenerative, degenerative diseases. So what we want to do is further in this uh, volume of anti-aging is human technologies giving you uh, extra ATP, optimizing the cell and doing what's called cell regeneration at 52, at 42, up to you. Okay, so inside this mitochondria, uh, we have something called, get this, ladies and gentlemen, the matrix. And in the matrix, this is where our ATP is made. Now the ATP is made in here through the cell membrane of the mitochondria every eight seconds. But I'm going to try and describe as much as I can to get you to part two of this in nine minutes. So what we want to share with you, which is very key to me, I found this out 13 years ago, and since then I've been an energy, uh, just mad about learning what energy is, how to optimize cells, how to uh, to op get you know uh, free radical transformation. We talk about free radicals, the six cells. Free radicals are not free, they're very expensive but we can hopefully get to you uh, what is a free radical and what is a healthy cell. Okay, over here, this is the bad news, ladies and gentlemen, because I've been involved in the human technologies now for 13 years in Asia. This is something that, when you find out about this, stage four cancer cells, measure the electro potential on the cell membrane in a cancer cell at stage four which is not good stage four out the door is minus 20 millivolts this electro potential that can be measured here 
Now, a super healthy person, okay, super, super healthy, which would be rare today, uh, you know, uh, maybe 30 years ago, a 12 year old might have this sort of reading in a clean, unpolluted planet, is minus 120 millivolts to say one, minus 190 millivolts. Okay, so what we're showing here is pretty important. I'm talking electricity, volts, millivolts. Tiny current is here. We have stage four at minus 20 millivolts and super healthy at minus 120 millivolts. This is what I call your life meter. So stage four cancer here is minus 20 millivolts on the cell's membrane. And then super healthy is minus 120 millivolts. This is what I call my life meter. Now, we're talking electrons and basically free radicals and disease. We need to make this ATP in here. This ATP, adenosine triphosphate, is very important in making energy to run your heart and run your liver, uh, breathing, talking, everything. So, so 75 trillion cells have to make ATP every eight seconds and then it goes to something called ADP, which is the, the lactic acid that sports people get, ADP. We've lost one, uh, this triphosphate, we've got adenosine triphosphate, and then we've lost one phosphate, which becomes adenosine diphosphate. That means if you've got a lot of ADP, I die earlier. Uh, you don't want ADP, you want the good energy, which is ATP, okay? Now, if you put the whole body, 75 trillion cells, full of an optimized cell, lots of ATP happening, less ATP, that would be someone with a lot of energy, or the Chinese would say, he's got a lot of chi. Or the Indians would call that prana. But we're going to keep this real simple on a scientific level, and I did not invent ATP. Go to virtualcell.com, look up the secret to life, ATP. Adenosine triphosphate, we'll come back to you in part two, and continue.